today we're working on a 2013 Mustang GT. We're gonna do a couple things. This video is just on the headers. So with that being said, let's see what kind of headers we got. Let's get it. All right, before I show you guys what the headers look like or what we're getting headers wise, here's the Lambo. She's coming along very nicely. Looking sexy as always. So now let's get to it. So we got some cooks, headers, box one of one, and let's open it. There you guys have it. We unbox the cooks headers kit, installation manual, all the gaskets. Cats, high flow cats, and the headers themselves. Ready to go into this 5 Mustang. So stay tuned and let's get it. All right, first we're gonna race the car up. So let's get that done. Let's get it. All right, with the vehicle raced up, I soaked up the bolts and stuff because they're a little rusted you guys can see they're a little rusted in there so we're soaking them up leave them overnight to see if they uh come out tomorrow morning so that being said let's get it all right so today's another day and i started to disconnect the o2 sensors and they're loose because I was loosening them with the, the WD-40 actually worked on them. This is still soaking up a little longer. I uh, disconnected the transmission here as well. Because uh, we're doing, you know, disconnecting all these wires to get them out the way. Um, but now I'm going to lower the car. And I'm going to show you guys what we got to do next, which is get to those motor mounts from the top. So with that being said, let's bring her down. Ready? All right, she's down. And now, let me get some light. All right, so first we're gonna be removing that bolt right there, that bolt right there, and the nut on, on both sides of the engine. So that we can remove the the motor mounts off the engine to access some of the bolts on the manifold so with that being said let's get it all right to access the couple of the bolts as well uh we have to access the ac compressor and move it out the way so we're gonna start by removing intake and this reservoir here so with that being said, let's get it. Ready? There you go, guys. Now that that's off, um, we can get to the belt. So we can remove it. Uh, these Mustangs actually don't have a tensioner for the for this belt, so I'm gonna have to cut it. 
So let's get it. Let's keep going, guys, and see what else we run into. So now we have to disconnect the battery to put, to take out the starter. So always do that. Let's get it. All right, after removing the starter, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, because uh, which bolt is it? It's the, this bolt, I think, no. This bolt right here gets in the way, like you gotta get a swivel and everything to get it out. This one, just get a long extension. And I also removed the bottom shields here, that brace that was over here. That's all out. This thing seems like it's falling apart see um but we're coming along with this build i still have to move a couple of those wires out the way to get through the bolts up there those bolts are really pain in the butt we have eight bolts or nuts that we have to take out the two that are on the back of this are pretty tough and what we're gonna do next is jack up the engine from here, pull it up, take out the motor mount and start taking those bolts off. So let's get that done. All right, so here I cut the hose clamps because they were trashed anyway. So I cut them on the side there and moved them out the way, loosen up those two, four bolts over here so that we can take off this uh, white pipe centerpiece and so that we can continue working and get, you know, lifting up the engine off the motor mounts, take the motor mounts out and move them around. So that's next guys, let's get it. All right, exhaust is off. We got it out clean. Um, took that motor mount out already, lifted up the engine from here. So it's being held by this third leg. And now I have to take off the steering rack um, shaft that goes to the steering wheel. And uh, I've got to mark it. So when I take it out, it goes back in. I secured the, the steering wheel already with a little device I have. Um, but now I have to take out this motor mount. And in order to do that, I have to remove that bolt, mark this, slide it out. All right guys, so got the motor mount out on this side. Got the steering thing in the uh, steering column off. Um, I actually had to drop the frame a little bit to be able to get the, that piece out. Flange, um, cause it, this wouldn't push back cause it's so old. Uh, but yeah, we got the motor mounts out on both sides. Now we can get to some of the bolts well, all the bolts, but we they're a little tough. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna keep going and remove these exhaust manifolds with the cats together. All right, so I did unbolted the, um, the AC compressor off. I didn't break the belt or anything. I just unbolted it and slid it out. The belt slid out. And now I can get to those bolts that I thought were gonna be impossible, but now we're making it possible get to them so just got to get one by one slowly get them all out now we can access all of them let's get it all right so got one of the manifolds out and there it is no manifold no gasket I still got to fix this wire so let's get it let's keep going and then take this side off Let's get it. All right, we got the other manifold off. So we got both manifolds out with the cats. So now we got to clean up the surface so that we can put on the new cook headers. So with that being said, let's clean it up. Do you guys have it? Clean on both sides that's what you got to do make sure they're clean now time to put the headers time to put these bad boys in 
they come with some nice hardware so they don't back out on you so let's get it let's put these on all right so we got one side on and make sure you guys put those locking things on there so they don't back out if anything um the sequence for these is 24 nanometers and you have to crisscross them so from the middle it's uh the top one up here one two three four then this one five the bottom one six seven and eight that's how you do the sequence and then after that you do a 32 nanometer sequence the same way and that'll be the, the final tightening sequence for that and like i said after that you put those locking uh, thingies there uh, which there they look like this so let's get it let's put the other side in all right second headers on motor mounts are on the shaft goes through the header itself um i put on pretty much everything on this side it was supposed to go on there. Uh, put back the compressor with the belt, secured all these bolts. These bolts, now I gotta put this, uh, this cooler back on, and that'll be next. So, ready? There you go, guys. Oil cooler's installed. The bolt that goes through it, torque it down to 43 foot pounds, and then you're ready to go. So, now, we're gonna install the sensors, O2 sensors, on the headers, and make sure you always use some type of NECs so that when you take them out again, they come out easily. Let's get it. All right, so I installed the sensors, the high flow cats, the X pipe, and we're all done with the exhaust. So first start up with everything on, let's go. because that you know all the grease coming off of it so hell yeah first revving oh yeah and once it breaks in bro oh yeah we're driving and everything yeah hell yeah happy bro you happy Hell yeah. Sounds good. Oh yeah. 